it's down for us. Uh, do you want you want the gummy bears? Like you, you want? Yeah, we want some gummy bears. You want some gummy bears? Where I I I I'll get you the pack. We can make that happen. Uh, I'm gonna do this last piece. Uh, it's another one about uh just me and my culture and being a, a real African ass dude. Uh, and like a lot of the crazy shit that my African parents would say to me uh, growing up and shit. Um, this probably can't relate as well to people from the islands or like people if you are Latino and all that cause, or, or, or yeah, or from like the Middle East cause like a lot of foreigners will probably like relate to this piece a lot because uh, yeah, we gets down. Um, so uh, this is my last piece. Again, yeah, come see me, I'll be right there. Uh, and uh, yeah, so <clears throat> important things to know before attempting to date an African or how to properly cook rice. One, <clears throat> you must cook the rice. Two, Africans like to speak in metaphors, especially with their often very rude and problematic prejudice. Yo, I remember once I was trying to bring home my Cambodian girlfriend and my mom turns to me and says, eh so you want to bring me home a fortune cookie? <laughs> Three, whether we're three feet or 300 feet from you, we are always megaphone parade loud. Our voices project like a howling typhoon filled with all of the anger and plight of all of Africa. Whispering is as foreign as we are. Our voices molded in accented thunder, probably because for so long history only shamed us into silence. Four, you must cook rice. Five. At one point in time, we're all supposed to be doctors or lawyers. If you ever meet the parents, make sure you uphold this. Do not give them a reason, reminder of how insert less than stellar six-figure paying profession here does not pay the bills. And we do not send you to America to become Cameroonian Shakespeare, sag your pants, listen to that Jay-Z stuff, or make babies with their women. Six, don't call it soccer. Call it football. Real Madrid versus Barcelona, the coup that free. When the World Cup is in progress, nothing else fucking matters. Nothing. Seven, you must cook rice. rice. Eight, <laughs> Africans have no concept of time. For to me, that 10 a.m., it really means 1 p.m. Make sure you plan everything at least three hours in advance. Nine, all weddings, parties, and gatherings involving any sort of music last for at least three days. Probably because everybody showed up the fuck late. But you will dance until you grow blisters on your feet the size of African liberation. We dance and we dance and we dance because we understand that music is the undying essence of freedom. Ten, despite, despite the ugly shade of calculated misfortune, the drag of empty railing from my eyes, we are more than just HIV commercials, more than just for 20 cents a day you could feed this hungry caricature, more than just a country. Yo, Africa is not a fucking country, it is a continent. We are more than just a brain drop in colonization's pot with the flame of guilt swaying under, but like my mama always said, si tu ne peux rien d'autre préparer, il faut moins faire du riz. If you cannot cook any fucking thing else, you, you must, must cook, cook rice. There it is. Thank y'all so much more Wednesdays.